Hello, anybody. I am Alpaca Patrol, and this is Google Maps. Now, you might not understand what's going on. You might be thinking, Rob, you play video games on YouTube. And you'd be right, I do. But I recently went on to Google Maps. I forgot for what reason. Oh, no, because I was trying to look for uh, a restaurant. And I wanted to know what it looked like. Because usually if you see, like, what a restaurant looks like, you can tell whether or not it's a good restaurant or, like, some shitty, you know, regular old, stinky old restaurant. Um, and I realized that they had made significant improvements to Google Maps. So, you know, we're, we're taking a look here at Google Maps. This looks like regular old Google Maps, right? I mean, there's nothing uh, too fancy. In case you guys didn't know, I'm from New York City. Uh, so this is, this is the town that I'm from. Uh, good old New York, the Big Apple. Um, you know, you zoom in, and, uh, you get all the, all the, all the streets with all the things, these, all the, all this cool stuff here. That's interesting. Yeah, but Rob, that's just Google Maps. What's so cool about that? Well, let me show you. Let me take you on an adventure. Because I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering. Google Earth time. Alright, now we're in Google Earth. Things are a little bit different, but again, it looks mostly like Google Maps, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, look at the pretty New York City. That's glorious. It looks good, Rob. I like it. I'm glad you like it. Uh, one thing, actually, the overhead view is actually uh, a little bit more in, in HD, if you could tell. And getting this close, you might be able to get a little inkling of what's gonna happen here in a second because there's a new button on Google Maps and it's this button which is tilt the view so let's tilt the view oh oh wait a second are there 3D models on Google Maps can you explore through Google Maps with 3D models on buildings yes you totally fucking can and it's awesome it's kind of like what you dreamed Google Maps would be when you first saw Google Maps. And uh, I think they've, they've almost almost fully gotten there. Yeah, and you can tilt the view this far. But look at that. You can see the skyline of New York fucking city. Isn't that amazing? Look at this. Holy dicks and balls. You can just, it's so cool. There's even a skybox and everything. Look, you look at all the all the different pieces of New York City. I mean, you can explore this with me. This is where I live, and it's great. Look, there's the Empire State Building. Would you look at that? There it is. The old Empire State Building. -y. I don't know. There, I I don't really think that there's another um, nickname for the Empire State Building. You could like switch the camera around. You can move it over here, move it over there. Look at all that. Oh my God. Stink on my butt. I mean, it's just kind of crazy and awesome. And you can zoom in. Now, the buildings do seem kind of procedurally generated, which is kind of cool. Um, in New York, it looks like these are handcrafted, uh, to be totally honest with you. I mean, these these look like uh, handcrafted buildings. I'm pretty sure they, they did work on New York. Yeah, see, because, like, look at this. I don't, I don't think that's... Uh, I don't think that's necessarily a thing, but it's like, it's like, you know, shitty 3D models that are textured now with the actual images of the buildings. But if we go to other cities, you can see that the buildings are sort of procedurally generated. But I mean, look at this, look, this is, this is New York, this is, this is a fucking place that I live, I grew up in. There's even a crane! Look at this crane! That's amazing! They have a crane here, building that building, that they've been building forever. And that's what building a building looks like in New York City, in case you were curious. There you go. You can explore New York City with me. Um, so let's let's show you some locations, huh? So uh, the Statue of Liberty is over here. Here we go. Look at that. There's Liberty Island. There's the Statue of Liberty. You can go out there. I went to the Statue of Liberty once, uh, but we only made it up to the toe. I was young at the time, and you have to walk up a buttload of stairs. Like, there's no... Well, okay, there is an elevator in there, 
But the line for the elevator is quite long, and it holds like 10 people, and usually there's like a thousand dudes inside the Statue of Liberty at any given time, so the line takes forever. Even walking up the stairs, it takes a long time, because, again, there's like a thousand people that are slowly walking upstairs, and then when you get to the top, you know, you don't really want to go back down, because it's like, oh, I've spent fucking four or five hours getting to the top of the Statue of Liberty, I'm gonna stand here for a while. So that's why the staircase takes a long time. But, yeah, so we, we went there once, and, uh... I got to the toe, and then, <laughs> then we left. We didn't get to see out the front, but we did go inside, which was pretty cool. Uh, unlike what Ga uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto would tell you, um, there's no beating heart inside. I know, it's kind of sad. You have to get there by ferry, obviously. Uh, it's Governor's Island. I don't even know what's really at Governor's Island. Yeah, it's like El Ellis Island is there. Um, I guess I guess you could go see what Ellis Island was like. I guess it's like an Ellis Island Museum now. Interesting. Uh, fun fact, I'm pretty sure this is like entirely a man-made island, uh, if I remember correctly. So you like, look at that. That's not, there's no coast there. That's, that's not a thing. So, uh, that's Governor's Island. Um, and this is the, now, now this is, this is like Battery Park. This is where, uh, all of the Wall Street people steal all your money in, uh, in the American economy. Uh, looks like something horrible happened to these docks. Jesus Christ, Godzilla attacked. By the way, the new Godzilla looks amazing. Yeah, okay, so the docks are kind of fucked up. But again, this is sort of what I'm talking about with the procedural generation. Look at that. Doesn't actually look like that. There's not just a bunch of fucking crazy, terrifying jagged metal up there. Yeah, or there either. Okay, so they don't procedurally... Oh my God, Godzilla truly did attack the city. Look at this. Oh dear Lord. There has been, there has been a monster, there are kaijus in the city, and there are massive tree beings, uh, this is terrifying. Alright, so I guess we're, we're out here, but anyway, yeah, this is, this is all Wall Street, these are, these are all actually the really old buildings in, uh, in, in New York, and in fact, this is where the original Dutch settlement was, New Amsterdam was, uh, around here, I think like around here, this is, this is where, uh, New Amsterdam was. And, uh, and the rest of the city grew out from there, which is also why the buildings are as, are, are bigger here, and in fact more densely populated there, than they are farther down in the city. Um, uh, of course there's another big area here, but that's because of Radio City Music Hall and their Central Park and all that. But, uh, anyway, so, so yeah, that's, that's where all the big buildings are in New York City is right there. The big financial district is what it's called. Uh, because that says all the old buildings. That's, that's a real old building, too. That's a cool building as well. You know, something I was really liked in, um, in, like, Spider-Man 2 and stuff is you get to, you know, explore around, uh, New York City and stuff. And it was, it was great. You know, it's fun seeing, uh, recreations. And this is why I'm kind of excited about this. Um, and this is the, uh, this is the, the West Side Highway. And, uh... And it's okay, I guess. I've hung out a lot over... Uh, actually, this is really cool. This is that, that sky bridge. Um, that's pretty sweet. Um, this These are like old... These are like old uh, factories that have been converted into like apartments and stuff. Yeah, like here, like Borough of Manhattan. Oh, that's, oh that's, that's actually BMCC. I actually didn't realize that. Yeah, this is, um, this is the community college. Um, but yeah, this, this is like a nice area. See, like they have tennis courts out here on, on these piers. Really, the, the ports in New York City don't aren't really used as ports anymore. Um, there are a couple locations where they are, like, uh, I think down here, yeah, as you can see, there's, down here, there, there, there are boats and stuff, and these are, um, my friend actually works on a sailboat, and, uh, usually it's, like, right over here, um, and he, he works on a sailboat and has to come down right to this dock and, and get out of the, uh, the city like that. Uh, which is pretty cool. But anyway, yeah, there's the, there's a side. Uh, all these, all these, all these ports or these, uh, um, things are, are really cool. They're like tennis courts. Huge open tennis courts on top and even inside. There are indoor tennis courts in here too, underneath, uh, on the lower levels. So, uh, there's a bunch of cool stuff in there. I went, I went drinking there uh, a couple times. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fun. Uh, following the West Side Highway, it gets it gets more intense. Actually, if we keep following the West Side Highway, we should find like the really scraggly old uh, dock that is um, a thing. Yeah, see, look here, look. There's the uh, Intrepid, right? Yeah, that's the Intrepid. Uh, so that is an old U.S. aircraft carrier that uh, that you know uh, became a museum now. So that's pretty cool. 
Um, it looks like, oh, did they cover it up? Oh, no, they totally didn't. Look, this is, this is that old fucked up dock down here that's like all, it's all just old rusted metal. And it is not safe at all. Uh, I've climbed on it before, but there is nothing safe about it. Uh, and again, we're, we're still just going down the West Side Highway, which, you know, is nothing, um, nothing really too fancy. Look, there's an actual dock with, um, with boats and stuff down there. Um... Yeah, just going down the West Side Highway. I can show you where I went to school. Do you guys want to know where I went to school? I went to school over here. We can uh, look. I, I can kind of tell by Strawberry Fields because it's a place in Central Park where I used to hang out a lot. Um, so let's see where it at. Um, where are we? Where's Where's Columbus Circle? There it is. Okay, so we should be like right over here. Um, is that it? Yep, that's it. There we go. So that's that was my uh, that was my my high school. Uh, let me get this going. There it is. There, that's LaGuardia, LaGuardia High School. That was it. The uh, the good old block in the big old you know terrifying dark gray block that just makes you feel like your soul is crushed and awful and it's a it's an art school, but uh, the people did not adhere adhere to the to the ideas of artistry. Let's just say that and makes you. Makes you feel like your soul sucked out. Where is it? There it is. Okay, yeah. There's uh, and there's the those are the projects right next door. Um, this is the Martin Luther King Building, and it used to be a very dangerous school. In that, oh, that's awesome. Look, it has the um. So as you can see, the textures aren't perfect because this is shot at an angle, and you have the reflection of these trees on this like reflective surface. And they just plop that texture on on that building, which looks weird, but you know uh, it's it's as perfect as we're gonna get today. Um, but anyway, yeah. So uh, so that's that's Lincoln. Uh, I mean, not, not not Lincoln Square. I mean, that is Lincoln Square. This is this is the Lincoln Center, uh, which is cool too. I mean, can you see anything here? Okay, there's there's definitely not giant rocks there. But that's uh, Bailey's Circus, Barnum and Bailey's Circus, and uh, in here is like a little fountain area. Now there's actually something really cool over here. If you go if you go inside these, okay, so there are like pillars here. You can kind of see them. The acoustics are really weird in there, so you could go into one of the pillars and talk into a corner and just like whisper it, and you could go, you could have someone like ten feet away uh, at another pillar, and and they would hear your whispering. But only if they listen to the other corner. Uh, so the acoustics were pretty cool in there. But I used to walk by there every day. And then yeah, that's that's the old uh, the old stomping ground. And um, this I've I've spent a long time back here in this little section that no one knows about. Um, and then we'd also go out over here to Riverside Park, which is all fancy. Remember, you know, did I ever tell you guys about me fighting geese at the park near my school? This is the park. Riverside Park. It's fucking beautiful, sort of. Um, it's not. I mean, it's under a uh, a highway, or it can be under a highway. We would come down here. You'd go up there too. Um, there actually, we found a, an old couch and 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 put it right there and, and watched the sunset. That was really fun. Um, at one point, oh look, so there's a baseball diamond now. That's pretty cool. We also turned this into like a football field. And in fact, there's gonna be a reunion soon where we play football over here because uh, that's what we did. We played football there. And that was a good time. Um, so yeah, that's my skull. Uh, Central Park is, you know, it's kind of crazy to think of, uh, about how big Central Park is, but it really is. I mean, look at that, compared to the rest of, of New York City. Um, that's like several blocks. There's like hundreds of blocks. I think it's, I think it is like a, like a hundred, because it starts at 59th Street, and that ends at like, what is that, like 110th Street, 100 and... 120th Street, maybe? Something like that? Uh-oh, looks like it's not loading any more buildings. That sucks. Whoops-a-daisy. I wonder what happened there. That's kind of shitty. Oh, well, I think it's fine. I think it's probably because I keep rendering all these buildings, and they're like, hey, could you not do that anymore? Because that'd be nice. Um, but yeah, you know, look at all this stuff, man. Oh, look at this, the Chrysler Building. You know what's really interesting about the Chrysler Building? Is, uh, back when it was being made, let's see where the Chrysler Building is. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is, this is the view that that the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building had. And they were being made at the same time. Now, as you can see, they're kind of, uh, you know, almost as tall as one another. Uh, that's because they were actually competing to be the biggest building in the world at the time. And uh, the Chrysler Building actually had been finished uh, before the Empire State Building. But the Chrysler Building believed that they were going to be the largest building in the world, which obviously carries some distinction uh, because, you know, we talk about the Empire State Building, you don't talk so much about the Chrysler Building. Um... And, uh, 
now here's what happened you see this this big spike on top it's really pretty and looks very nice right it's it's a cool little spike thing on top of there uh well the empire state building which is probably uncharacteristically ugly it's like a little bit uglier it's like blocky and has like his big fucking dick on like, like dick for a nose um compared to the chrysler building which looks kind of elegant and, and pretty it, it uses line contrast with with curved and straight lines um but uh so they built that first the the empire state building had a secret while it was being built the entire time so you see this uh this point here on the on the empire state building this big this big dick nose on on top of it i wish i could get into like a better position yeah there we go so that big old dick nose there that was inside the building the entire time they they had they had that from day 1 and uh once the chrysler building was finished they craned it right on up through the building, put it on top, and the uh, the Empire State Building ended up being the biggest building in the world because of that big old dick nose on top. So uh, that's 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 where that came from. So that was that was always kind of interesting. This is cool. I'm kind of I feel like a tour guide in New York City, and I don't have to. I can sit in my chair, and it feels pretty good. Um, but yeah, there's uh, Columbus Center, which is pretty cool. It's very busy. Um, well, it says Time Warner Center, but it can suckle on my balls. It's the Columbus Center. Uh, what did they, what? What is this? This used to just be, like, a place where kids would skate and stuff. There was, like, a fountain there. Did they build something there? I haven't been here in quite a while. Uh, and then also it looks like a time warp has destroyed the place here. Um, so yeah, it's like a big, it's like a mall. And, uh, it's alright. We used to go in and play free games. Like, this is, this is actually where I found Geometry Wars, because there's a Samsung in here, and they had, like, game demos on their thing that you could play played a lot of geometry wars in there it was fun it was a cool time um but anyway as you can see yeah this is new york city this is manhattan i mean this is kind of what you regard as the city i live here in um in queens uh which is another part of the borough another borough in, in new york city because um to get you a general idea you know people think of new york city they think of manhattan which is only one of the five boroughs uh this is brooklyn all of brooklyn actually brooklyn's pretty big um, but yeah, this is, this is Brooklyn. I think Bensonhurst is still part of Brooklyn. Uh, this is not. This is Sheepshead Bay. I don't think that's technically part of Brooklyn. Canarsie is, though. So that's Brooklyn. And this is Queens, uh, which goes out to, like, here. Um, and this is, this is Queens, uh, which is also quite large, comparatively, to Manhattan. I have to take a train in every day if I want to go to Manhattan. Uh, this is the train, actually, that I would take. Look at that. There it is. That's the, that's the, you know, a lot of people think, you know, New York subway. Nope. It's not just the subway. It's also an above rail thing until right here where it goes under the water, actually, into, oh, God, there's Godzilla. See, he's coming out of the water. He's making his appearance here at the Queensboro Bridge. Actually, that is the Queensboro Bridge, isn't it? I actually biked over the Queensboro Bridge several times. It's very difficult because I will tell you, it's, it's a gradual incline pretty much the whole way. Now, the reason that that's difficult is because, like, if you get, like, an incline that takes a little while, or, like, that's, like, like, steep, you know? Um, then it's pretty easy. You just go up the incline. As you know, it, it, it hurts at first, but then, you know, you get over it and you get to rest as you go down the decline. This is, like, a super fucking long, like, here, wait, where does it start? Yeah, you start, you get on, like, over here, and here's the bike path on the side. These are, these are where the bikes are, uh, are right here. As you, you, see, you, you can even see some bicyclists going over there. Um, and, uh... And it's just a gradual incline. It just it's still inclining, still inclining, still inclining. It's like it's 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 over a mile too, I think, to the bridge. And it's just inclining, 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 and it's still inclining up over here too, uh, up until I think around this point. Yeah, somewhere around here where it's just like, okay, I can take a break and just go the fuck over there, and then and then you you're kind of slowly declining, and then there's like a super fast decline here where I almost crashed into someone once, and that was kind of funny. There's also a nice park here, which I wish you could see. <laughs> it doesn't look like that, but there's some modern art there. That's actually kind of nice. It's 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 all right. It's it's not so bad. Um, so yeah, that's that's Manhattan. But you know, uh, New York isn't the only place that got. Um, that got this amazing, beautiful uh, 3D building treatment. Let's go. Let's get back to proper north and uh, get out here. And let's uh, let's zoom out to the rest of the world. So yeah, that was just New York, and this is the Earth. In fact, we can even go into space. I'm pretty sure because uh, I'm pretty sure they just added uh, what is Google Earth to Google Maps in I guess a web browser. 
Uh, so I guess if you've ever seen Google Earth, then you probably aren't that impressed by that. But I, you know, I've never been to Europe, so I decided, hey, why don't I just go check out, like, say, uh, Paris. Where's Paris? It's over here somewhere. There it is. Uh, let's go check out Paris. Let's go see what Paris is like, guys. Uh, so let's do it. All right, here we go. We're in Paris. Look at all these cool buildings in Paris. I don't have any stories for Paris because I've never been, obviously. But the buildings look pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's kind of interesting. Look at, look at all this stuff. Uh, weird. Look at look at Paris. This is a, it looks like a beautiful city. Look at look at these uh, these. I guess these are just walking bridges. No, I guess yeah. You, you drive a car over, but I mean, uh, it's just weird to think that they have just all these all these little tiny bridges. We don't really have that in New York City. But I suppose that's because you don't really cross the cross the rivers uh, that often, except if you're trying to get somewhere. Actually, this looks like a little tiny island in Paris. I wonder what island this is. Place Dauphine. Uh. No, it's the Isle de la City. The City Island? If I had to try to understand um, French, I'd say that that means it's City Island. Now, in case you guys didn't know, Paris has this cool rule where um, it, it actually started... Well, it didn't start with Napoleon, but it perhaps it ended with Napoleon, where... Uh, Paris is not allowed to have a building over six stories tall. Now, Rob, you say, what about this fucking building that's obviously really ugly and it is over six stories tall? I don't have, I have no idea. I've never been to Paris. I don't really know that well. But I know that um, uh, Napoleon wanted to keep Paris a beautiful city, and he thought that, you know, big buildings would be ugly. I, I also, except for the Eiffel Tower and stuff, too. Um... So, uh, so all buildings are supposed to be only about six stories tall, um, and I actually want to, I want to go into street view so that we can see what Paris looks like up close and personal, if there's a way to do that. Can I, what if I type in, I, see, this is actually something that I'm actually confused about a little bit, yeah, okay, we're in Paris, uh, okay, there we go, wait, no, yeah, street view. Ah, this is the street view for the Eiffel Tower. Welcome to the Eiffel Tower, friends. I can show you the world. I'm not allowed to sing any more lyrics of this song, otherwise I'll get cut today matched. Uh, it's the Pont de mm, something, something, something French. I don't really know. Some, some real French. All right, here we go. Look at, look at this. We're in, we're in France, guys. This is like I'm like the doctor showing you the world, uh, and uh, and I'm, I'm showing you all of. All of France. Look at this. Oh, wow. There's a lot of tourist things. Uh, Le Open Tour. I guess that's an open touring site. Whoa! We went underground somewhere, friends. I don't know. I guess we went under the tunnel, which is not somewhere I want to go. I want to go above the tunnel. I want to see... So there's a tunnel under the Eiffel Tower, it looks like. Or is there? Where did I go? Where have we gone in Paris? Where is the Eiffel Tower? I feel like that should be... Whoa! There it is! Hey, look at Mr. Hey, how you doing, Eiffel Tower? How you doing, buddy? We're just gonna hang out over here. I guess we'll just try to get off the road here. Let's let's get over here. Okay, let's get to the... I want to get under the Eiffel Tower. I want to see what... Maybe maybe the Google Maps car is not allowed to get under there. Um, let's find out. Uh, I know that they, they go by hand in, in some of the cool places. So, I mean, we could be able to go over here. Um, also, these people are not supposed to have faces, which they've done a good job, actually, of, of blurring out the faces, because they never got the permission from all these people. And I guess you can't go under the Eiffel Tower, which sucks, so you have to go to, if you want to go see the Eiffel Tower, you gotta go to France. Look how pretty that is, that's real nice. It doesn't look like there's anything around it, which is kind of crazy, to think of, like, a really old city with, like, all of this empty space. But I suppose, you know, New York City has Central Park as well. Ah, we went under the tunnel again! Why is there a tunnel under the Eiffel Tower? We should get rid of this tunnel. It's called the Quai Branly. Quai Branly? Quai Branly. Interesting. Uh, I kind of want to go in here. Now, I, I don't know, again, like, I don't understand how the Google Street View works now. Like, how do you get there? Do I just have to hit the Street View there? Okay, yeah, in, in fact, it looks like I do. Interesting. Alright, yeah, it looks like a street in Paris, which is totally fucking empty. What is the deal with that? And airline food. I, I forgot, we didn't actually even look at um, all those places. Let's let's do that. Let's let's go back to uh, to New York. I'm sorry that we, we left New York and we didn't show you everything. There, I didn't show you everything, but let's, let's get out of Paris. Let's go back to New York um, and get you down to, like, my school so that you can see uh, where it is. Okay, here we go. It's right there, Amsterdam Avenue. Let's go here. How do we... 
How do we... How do I live without you? You'll never know. How do I bleed about boobs? I'll stick on your popes. All right, here we go. Let's go over here. Yeah, good. We're on Street View. And, uh, yeah, that was my school. That's my that's my old school. That's it. The old stomping grounds. Evidently, they took the pictures when they were still breaking that down, I guess. Yeah, there's the uh, old Martin Luther King building. Uh, so that's cool. It has, like, a big thing. Yeah, see, Martin Luther King Jr. It's not actually Martin Luther King uh, school anymore, by the way. Uh, let's go back out over here. Oh, no, no, no. I want to go over here. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Um, let's go down to the river. Let's see if we could get to the river and see something cool. Um, no, that's right. That's the that's that little private building area. Um, we used to come by here. This is actually the Beacon School. That's a Beacon School um, thing. We come over here. Uh, yeah, like over over that way. There we go. Let's get down to the river. Yes, yeah, so this is where we used to come out all the time. Uh, obviously, it's a little bit of a rainy day, which kind of sucks, but uh, it's still a nice area. Oh, it looks like they they cordoned off an area, too. Weird. Did they make a track? Oh, damn, there's like a, a fence there now. I wonder if you can still get in. Maybe you can't get in anymore. Oh, that'd be shitty. Huh, must have changed it. But yeah, these are the old Trump, these are the Trump Towers, by the way. These, uh, Donald Trump owns all these buildings. So, uh, that's a thing. Also, I wanted to show you, um, I probably wanted to show you Columbus Circle, because I showed you that before and it looks really cool. Um, I can show you more of New York City. I kind of want to. But, uh, let's see, landmark at the Columbus Circle. See, let's see, what is, what is it? Yeah, yeah, see, that's what it looks like. That's, that's, the, that's the thing at Columbus Circle, that's what it looks like. This is the big uh, Columbus Circle building. I don't know what's in these towers, actually, but, yeah, it's just a big mall. That's, uh, there's Geometry Wars inside, and that's how you enter the park right over here. And there's, like, bike tours right there and stuff. There's the big Columbus Circle monument, which is pretty cool. You see that? It's all fancy. Look how fancy that is. Oh uh, yeah, epic as fuck. Uh, see, New York is the only place I could really uh, show you around, because it's the only place I really know about things. Um, there's a bunch of other things in New York City, but let's, uh, like I said, we already went to New York City. I just wanted to show you the street view of what those things look like. Let's go somewhere exotic. Let's go to, let's go to Cape Town. Uh, where is Cape Town? There it is. It's really in the Cape. Would you look at that? Alright, let's see. Does Cape Town have big buildings? Mm, no, doesn't look like it, actually. But it still looks kind of interesting. Man, this is kind of kind of desolate. Uh, Weird-looking buildings, too. Let's see, where's the big urban center? Probably down by the water, if I had to guess. And, uh, oh, it looks like these might have 3D models. No, no 3D models here at Cape Town. These beaches look beautiful, though. It's like a white sand beach. I wonder what's over here. Let's, uh, can we get on the street view? Yeah, Cannon Island Way. Okay, that's actually quite quite a ways away. <laughs> Whoa, that's really pretty. That's really cool. I like being in Cape Town. Maybe I should go to Cape Town one day. Uh, it's like, it kind of looks like a dirt mountain, though. Like, it's not like a super pretty mountain. Oh, interesting. Look at all this stuff. There's, like, palm trees down here. There are palm trees all over the world, man. They are so far everywhere. All right, that sounds cool. This is a, this is a cool place. What, what else, what other places in the world have, like, big buildings that I've always wanted to go to? I don't really know. Uh, we could go to... Oh, let's go see Berlin. Why don't we go see Berlin? Uh, where is Berlin? Uh, Berlin there. Uh, that's my, that's my Berlin song. I don't know if you guys ever heard it before. There it is, Berlin. Berlin! Alright, do you have big buildings, Berlin? Uh, doesn't look like Berlin gets any big buildings either. Uh, still looks kind of cool, though. I'm, I'm kind of cool with that. Look at this. This is, this is a cool-looking, uh, area. Uh, where are all the big buildings in Berlin? Are there not big buildings in Berlin? I would think that there would be. I guess not. That's interesting. Is that, a, is that a baseball park? Oh, no, obviously that's a soccer field. Uh, that that should make more sense. No, wait. Those are those are crossbars. That's football. That's American football. Oh, I guess it could be... No, it's probably rugby, if I had to guess. Yeah, I mean, the crossbars are the same in rugby as they, as they are in football, so... Um, I guess those are, those are rugby crossbars. Interesting. A lot of rugby played in Berlin, evidently. I don't know. Yeah, this looks like there's no, uh, no buildings here. It sucks. Sucks to be you, Berlin. Uh, what else could be a cool place? We go to Madrid. Actually, yeah, let's go to Madrid. Where's Madrid? Mm, there it is. Madrid, right in the middle. Right in the middle of Spain. Oh, this is pretty. Man, this is a pretty city. What's the Plaza Mayor de Madrid? Can we go in here? I want to kind of go in here. Uh, can we take a look? Actually, yeah, Hotel Plaza Mayor. Whoa! 
This is cool. Look at this. Damn. This is the Hotel Plaza de Madrid. They're just people sitting here uh, eating some, some tacos, probably. I'm not being racist. Spanish people like tacos. Obviously not from Spain. Uh, well, maybe maybe people from Spain like tacos. I think everybody in the world likes tacos, to be honest with you. Um, this is a cool area. Interesting. But uh, anyway, I think, I think that's enough Google Mapsing that uh, that we could do for one video. I didn't realize we were already here for a half an hour. So uh, this has been my Let's Play of Google Maps. <laughs> Hopefully you guys liked it. Um, I don't know, I just felt like I wanted to show you guys this because it's fucking crazy looking now. Like, look at this. This is just, this is insane that we can do this. Uh, that I can just go to all these different places. Like, where, where isn't, uh, Sydney down here? Uh, that's where Melbourne is. Where's Sydney? Um, I don't even know. That's Western Australia. Perth. I know a lot, I, I met a girl from Perth once. Adelaide. Melbourne, Victoria, there's Sydney, look at that, I wonder if we can go see the Opera House, let's go see the Opera House, is that it down there, no, Wedding Cake Island, sounds interesting, not a lot of big buildings in the world evidently, look at this, this is Sydney, Australia, interesting, very interesting, Kingford, oh here we go, that's, that's more mainland Sydney, oh yeah, Guys, looks like we got some 3D... No, we don't have any 3D buildings. It looks like it almost is 3D buildings. Um, by the way, the, the map is topographic. Like, it has... See, like, it has topography. So there there is actually, like, hills and stuff, even if you don't get the 3D buildings. But uh, still pretty cool. Look at that. It still actually looks pretty 3D as well. Wow, that water is beautiful. Man. I don't know if that has something to do with the camera, but that water is super pretty here in Sydney. Man. See, I took you on all these trips. I'm like the doctor. So much like the doctor. Uh, let's, let's go to... Let's go to... Uh, there we go. I think that's it. British Transport Police? Is that what I'm looking for? No. Oh, there's something that you can search and you go inside the... What if I go... TARDIS. TARDIS walk in Cardiff? What is that? There's a TARDIS walk in Cardiff? What is that? That's interesting. But yeah, there's something you could pop into Google Maps and you go inside the TARDIS. I thought I could find it really easy. But, uh, but anyway, yeah. So that's Google Earth. There you go. Google Earth. Google Maps. Google, Google everything. I just thought it was very pretty and I figured that, you know, I should show you guys. Sorry about the lack of music or sound in the background or anything, but Google Maps doesn't have, like, a natural ambient music. Although, maybe it should. Maybe we should ask Google for that. Google, can you add ambient music to something really interesting? Is there search settings? No, okay. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Sorry this video is weird, but yeah, it's like my Let's Play at Google Maps. Hopefully you liked it. Um, it was fun. I enjoyed myself. Hopefully you did too. I showed you all the cool stuff in New York City. There's a bunch of other places that are cool, so go explore it on your own. I don't think there's going to be any other parts to this Let's Play, because I doubt... You know, I, I'd have to guess that we we're going to get like 100 views on this video. So, you know, uh, that <laughs> is fine. I understand. But, uh, yeah, anyway. Hopefully you guys liked it, those of you, those hundred of you that decided to stop by. Um, and uh, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. This has been Google Maps. And I'll see you next time in a lot of other videos having to do with video games. Um, this is Alpaca Patrol signing out. Peace, fools.